Good morning. My name is Deepi Kapoor and I will be appearing for acting day two. I will be performing a monologue titled "As a Blonde Gentleman" written by the Jewel Brothers Group. In this monologue, Hansel and Gretel are abandoned in the forest. Gretel blames her brother Hansel for them getting lost in the forest and prides herself on the fact that she knew the house full of candy in the trap. But unfortunately, she gives in to her brother's request. This monologue focuses on the character of Gretel and revolves around the themes of anger, frustration, and disappointment. Boys are so dumb. I told my brother we were going the wrong way, but will he listen? No, of course not. He thinks he's so smart. He wouldn't even bet we passed the same tree at least three times. I made it long, but even. Much less a huge open forest and the whole bread crumbling. Duh! Why did he just feed the stinking animals right out of his own hand? Was he really stupid enough to think that would work? Maybe if he hadn't paid no attention to mom and dad instead of his dumb bread crumbs, we wouldn't have gotten lost in the first place. Our parents have to be frantic with what is on now. Daddy is a hunter. He knows what kind of wild animals live in the forest. He didn't have to sleep tonight, knowing we're lost out here. I don't know this. When we do get found, Hansel is going to get so much trouble. Especially when Mom finds out he talked to a stranger. There we go, walking along, and we see this house made of candy. A house made of candy. Hello.
somewhere. These ones are surely settled by now. Banana, where are you? Come here, sister. I've got a favorite tree. A dead mouse. Please come out now. Oh, Mr. Lazarus. Now we just wait. Fishing was the last thing on my mind, Banana. But then Tina was just going on all about her fishing expedition and she challenged me that I could never fish. Well, tomorrow when we go back to school, we're going to take a fish in the token and show that we can actually fish. I see something down, Banana. It's big fish to see. Yeah. 
become extremely scared and that she runs away and she discovers that she has lost Banana. She is extremely worried about Banana's life and when she sees her friends panting, she becomes irritated and anxious and once uh, she finally finds Banana, she is extremely happy and delighted to see her. Choose one of your pieces and explain what makes this story or subject matter interesting to you. In my first monologue, um, my first monologue is a parody of a fairy tale of Hansel and Gretel. Um, this story uh, that we always read when we were children um, was written in a different way, and this monologue gives us a different perspective into the story and it tells us what Gretel must have been going through at that point in time. So I enjoy this piece very much because of uh, a fresh perspective, because of the new view into uh, the story that it gave me. Describe the imaginary surrounding in one of your pieces. In my first monologue, Gretel is trapped with Brother Hansel in a pot um, in a witch's house which is made of gingerbread, cake and candies. This house is located in a dense forest um, and since the fairytale of Hansel and Gretel is located in Germany, I imagine our middle of setting to be in Germany as well. Since the forests of Germany are filled with cedars, plumes and fir trees, I imagine this forest to be filled with these trees as well. Since um, this house is isolated, I imagine there cannot be a pathway towards the house. Thank you.